Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Farjana. Welcome to my another quick tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how you can create this kind of gradient background color with our text. For this tutorial, I will use the Elementor widgets and little bit of CSS code. So if you like to see how you can create this kind of effect with our text, without any further ado, let's get started. Here I have already created a sections with the dark blue background and here I am taking a text and I am changing the title to gradient text and now changing the alignment to center going to style tab and the text color for now I am adding the white color and the typography we can set the size to 1 em or I have added the 6 em and the font family I'm making it to Montserrat and keeping all others as it is and now I want to add a gradient background for this text so for that I'm going to advanced tab and when I scroll down in the bottom area here is the options custom CSS and these custom CSS options will be available for Elementor Pro only so if you don't have Elementor Pro I will leave the Elementor Pro download link in my description so you can check it from there. And after activating the Elementor Pro, you will get these options to your website. And then here I am going to my website. Here is some small CSS code. I am going to copy all this code. I will also leave this page link in my description so you can get it from there. And now I am going to paste my CSS code. But still we cannot see the gradient effect because here we are using the white color. So first I have to go to the style tab and the text color. I have to make the text color to transparent. And boom, you can see our text is now gradient. If I check my CSS code from here, we can see here I have used three different color and also this is the angle for our gradient I have used 120 and you can change the angle to any one for example if I change it to 90 or we can make it to 180 so we can see our gradient direction is changing and here I have used these three color the blue purple and pink for example if we want to change the first color to red we can see our color is changing I am going back and here I have used the three different color and this color I have added as variable and I have placed this variable color into my code. So here if you want to add only two color instead of three, here the first color, the second color and the third color. So you can remove the second one and we can see it's now working with two color. Alright, so that's all for today. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Otherwise, you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time. And if you are new here, like to see my more upcoming videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel. And finally, if you like to work with me for any WordPress project, you can contact me through my website. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.